Well, you know, uh, it's hard to sum up a trip like a trip around the world in one simple story or one uh, incident or event that happened because the most important thing I can see is that God's working wherever you go and you just have to join Him there. God loves the people of Cambodia just like He loves the people here and He wants to have a relationship with them. And it's just a little tougher there because they've not been indoctrinated to the beliefs that we have. And uh, But yet when there's faith, it's a pure, uh, beautiful faith. You know, when you get out over there and you see just the uh, the poverty level that you don't mm. that you're not used to seeing here, and uh, I mean, you're thinking like you know, these people are born into this condition, and uh, that's and then they would live throughout their life, and that's all they would see, and that's all they would know. What's neat to see is that when you share the story, when you share about Jesus Christ, uh, they just, you know, they're, you know, there's a sense of hope. Mm. You know, they perk up a little and then they're like, oh, wow, they're, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, there's someone that actually loves me. And uh, wow. yeah, not only, you know, the us who are traveling from America, but there's a God that loves them and that a relationship with them when we tell them that they uh, wow, it's just that just kind of brings you know reminds us of why we're there and we can see the difference uh, that it makes and like Patty said yeah God is moving God is working even in the midst of poverty and, and uh, despair despair and darkness and hopelessness I met a man who had lost his leg and was a survivor of the Khmer Rouge and uh, when I asked him, and I learned this from Vince, is, you know, what do you think happens when you die? He had no idea that there was anything else. All they know is just pain and suffering. And to them, you know, the next life is probably even more uh, of that. And it's just a cycle of, of, of that pain and suffering that they don't know how to get out of. Mm -hmm. And when they hear the story of Jesus Christ, how... Uh, there's so much hope when we put our life and our faith in, in, in Christ and we can be with Him in heaven and have a relationship uh, and we will, uh, we will no longer experience the, the kind of pain and suffering that we experience. And uh, to them, that's just, uh, wow, it's just uh, the kind of hope that they've never seen. The children, uh, primary school, these were kindergartens to sixth grade, and uh, they were so disciplined, and they stood outside in the rain, uh, listening to the gospel story. The thing is, it's sometimes we think like, hey, we're going so that we can help the people that's there, but sometimes it's really you that God is, is really uh, working on as well. So you learn so much, and you see so much, and uh, appreciate the things that God is doing and mm -hmm. how he's working and to see the persecution that the church is under in other places and I felt some shame and some guilt and <laughs> and how easy we have it and how we need to take use all of our resources to make a difference in the ends of the earth uh, it's a huge encouragement to them uh, they're there and uh, you know they you know, they, they try to reach out to the people uh, there through prayers and uh, through gospel sharing. But when we're there, uh, partnering with them, working with them, it really uh, encouraged them greatly. Uh, and they become more bold in going and, and, uh, and, you know, talking to schools, talking to prisons and talking to businesses to... Uh, to ask permission to allow us to come in and you know we got some friends from America that are here and you know they, they have uh, something to share. They did a lot of the hard work before, during and, I, and we know that afterwards because uh, there are so many people that, that, that pray to receive Christ and, and, and now they're having to follow up and, and maybe plant more churches and and uh, disciple them and, and help them to grow in that process. I 
uh, had found a scripture and I'd kept a journal before I went from Psalm 146 about God's sovereignty and that he's the one that's going to minister to the prisoner and the children and the widow and the poor. And I'm just a small tool that he has, but that he's the one who ultimately cares. And that's who we all have to point to in all of this. So I would just ask that people would pray as one of our leaders on the trip said that the seeds that we have planted will be fanned by the Holy Spirit. So whether you go or whether you're praying or whether you help send somebody, be intentional about realizing that Jesus was serious about us going to the ends of the earth.